I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my book talk slash review, whatever you want to call it, on Scott Westerfeld. Afterworld. So really quickly, just if you guys don't know what the book is about, it follows a girl named Darcy who is in the process of publishing her very first novel, Afterworld. It follows her moving to New York, going through the rewrites and her life when she first moves to New York. And every chapter, every other chapter, it's actually showing you her book. It's like unveiling it to you as you go along. So one chapter will be about Darcy and then the next chapter will be about Lizzie, her book's protagonist, and what's going on in the book and the actual book itself. Um, I gave it a four stars. I did love Lizzie's portion of the book immediately. Like I immediately fell into that world. It took me a really long time to come to Darcy and like like Darcy. I thought she was a very annoying girl actually. And that was kind of a bummer but it was still really enjoyable but then halfway through the book both of the storylines, I mean Darcy's got a little more exciting but in general the book really slowed down and then it was just a downfall from there. If not I really do think it would have been a five star book because I love the idea of the book. I love everything that worked out and whatnot. So that's all I'm going to say for the non-spoilery section. So if you guys have not read this book, exit out now, go read it, and come back. Unless you don't care to read the book or you don't mind being kind of spoiled, then go ahead and stay for the video. I'm going to be going back and forth, by the way, with the things that I do like and the things that I don't like. This is in no particular order. order. I'm just kind of showing you what stuck in my mind. So Let's talk about the book. Again, I really liked the chapters for Afterworlds. Like Lizzie's point of view, how it all started off. It started off with a bang and it got really good, really fast. And then it slowed down and it got annoying. Lizzie was a lot better, I think, than Darcy in this book. I'm going to put it down for now. I just, Darcy took me a while to get to like her. She was annoying, naggy was like that throughout the whole book but I think the only reason why I did like Darcy's point of view is when she met Emojin I started like liking the interactions and I wasn't expecting that like you know I wasn't expecting her to end up dating Emojin which was really interesting um I you know it was just Darcy though her character she was one of those people that sh I just I did not enjoy her at all in the book and it was just everything that was going on around her that did get interesting as the book went along. But um, I don't know. I think I kind of expected this a little bit differently, at least Darcy's point of view. Um, I was not overview the things that I kind of... One of the biggest things is, is like one of the parts of the story when Darcy starts to date Imogen is what's Imogen's real name? You know, that's her pen name. Emojin Gray is her pen name. What's her real name? So you find out, I was like, ooh, that's interesting. But then when she actually found out what her name was and she read what was so bad, I was hoping it was going to be worse. That was kind of a letdown. It could have been a lot better than that. The whole, like, article about her bitchy-ass ex-girlfriend was kind of whack. And you didn't even know what was said in the article. So I thought that was bullcrap. But anyway, um, I'm going to just start going through my post-its now because, you know... I don't remember. Oh, um, at the end, uh, at 160, what chapter was that? This is like, okay, at the end of chapter 14, I wrote creeping out much because, well, I was getting really creeped out. That was about the guy in the patched sweater, and I thought it was super interesting how that was, like, playing out and stuff, and it was really creepy. That died out very quickly, but it was still really good. Like, I just liked the idea of Lizzie and then meeting this ghost girl that's been living in her house, Mindy, for Misty or Mindy. I don't remember her name already, but it was just so interesting. Like, I... I don't know, I wish it was creepier than it was. I wish it kept going with that more. And I think the way that she killed the bad guy was kind of whack. Oh, I pressed into him until he had a heart attack. No, beat the crap out of him or something. I don't know. But I think that could have been done better. But another thing that I just remembered is throughout the entire book, 
there was this thing that Scott kept doing where you kept mentioning the same thing now that I'm in the afterworld and people can't see me blah 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 now that I'm in the afterworld and people can't see me I'm on the flip side and they can't see me we get it the part where they're on the roof and they kiss and they're talking about like afterworld and emojin just read it I love where she's like um no it isn't your book is smart and beautiful I want to have it sequels I thought that was hilarious I could not stop laughing I thought it was great I mean the book had a lot of funny moments I'm not gonna lie yeah, this was super awesome. I did like when Lizzie was with that psychopomp that's like a freaking the like, guy in the gray sweater and you know her being like scared or whatever and <laughs> she's like terrorists with machine guns frighten me. You're just pissing me off. I want to go to sleep. And I thought Yamaraj like is that how you pronounce it? Yamaraj is sweet yet way too vague but still loving him. I thought Yamaraj was really cool. He's very like just chill, relaxed, not too crazy. He's not like I don't know something about him I really did like him as like the hot male lead for you know Lizzie I thought he was good oh okay there was this problem in the book where Darcy Karen Lee brought up the whole thing about religion in the book and that kind of started something it made Darcy feel bad about tearing apart a religion or whatever and I think my point of view was I was really annoyed that she kept bringing it up it's a work of fiction. What you're writing is not real. Yes, you might be using things from religions or whatnot, but it's not like you're committing a crime by tearing it apart and making something of your own or using him for young adult hotness, as Carrie Lee, you know, vaguely said. I'm paraphrasing. Oh my god, serious. Okay, this is probably the biggest situation I had. I'm sorry, I'm reading the post-its. This is gonna be all over the place, but whatever. Um... Yamaraj's sister's death, Yami. I'm just gonna have to read this, so if you guys don't remember, I'll let you. A shard of bone stabbed through her wrist. Yama's voice grew quieter, barely audible over the crash of surf. She was bleeding. I held her wound, trying to keep the blood in. She wouldn't let herself cry, but I could tell it hurt. Dying is painful if you fight it. She cut her wrist? Like, I mean, it just sounds... It sounded so stupid, like, seriously, that's like saying she got a paper cut and then she bled out. It punctured through her wrist. Like, I don't know, I thought her death, I mean, it would have been cool if the goat, or whatever the animal was, would have just, like, gone off the cliff with her. That would have been fucking sick. That would have been amazing. You know, Lizzie takes Mindy down to the underworld. Not underworld, but, like, to that little, like, river. I was gonna say Riviera to the river thing and they go to New York and she goes to her dad's place they're in the closet <sighs> Mindy gets taken away by the guy in the patch coat right she just starts making out with him in the closet like or in the river where I don't remember where it is they start making out but you just lost her to the patchwork guy and I get you can't do anything about it right now you have to wait you have to be patient but like seriously you're just gonna go make out with him like if that didn't just happen I got really annoyed there and then there's the part where um, Emojin is asking uh, Darcy to like put her in the trunk, drive her around the city, you know. So yeah, Emojin is like telling her and then Darcy does it. And you know, Darcy's freaking out. I would probably be a little worried too because like, oh my god, what if someone sees me putting her in there? They might think this is like a kidnapping or something. So whatever, I let Darcy be exaggerated, uh, be a drama queen about that. But then... Emojin was in the trunk for like 10-15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, because they got onto the Brooklyn Bridge and she had to keep going, right? I'll just read it to you. It's just a crick. You didn't kill me. As Emojin stood, Darcy stepped into her arms, needing the realness of her, the softness and the muscle beneath the leather jacket. No, but I missed you. You just were arguing with her a few minutes ago. There were parts in the book that I actually wanted more of. I wanted more of Lizzie's world, less of Darcy's. Again, Darcy, I don't know, I, naggy, really annoying, childish. Like, you know, she is the character that makes young adult books out. Like, Darcy's the character that people see young adult books as. I loved Lizzie, though. Lizzie was awesome. I think there were some moments that I was kind of annoyed with her. Mainly, I was just annoyed with her about the whole Mindy was just taken and now you're, you know, sticking your tongue down a guy's throat. But it was just really ridiculous. Other than that, though, Lizzie was badass. I think Lizzie was really strong. She was 
brave. She was literally everything Darcy wasn't. She wasn't a nag. She wanted to do things on her own. And when Yamaraj, Yama said, no, you can't go there, she still went anyway because she knew it was wrong and she cared for Mindy and she wanted to help Mindy get through the fears that she had. I compliments Lizzie on that. I think Lizzie was just everything that the character should have been. But um, I think my favorite part of the book was when you're reading Pyromancer, which was like the little excerpt because, you know, it shows Darcy reading Emojins book and you see the first page. Holy crap, I wanted Pyromancer. Scott Westerfeld, write Pyromancer because that sounds amazing. The first couple pages of that I think we're super good. I would have loved to have read more about it. But overall, I know I complained a lot about this book, but the things that I complained about, those are the post-its, but look at how many, how much more there is to read. I don't have a post-it on every book. It was literally just in this middle part, because that's when I have hiccups. And that's when a lot of things were happening. But overall, I still really did like this book. I Because I was able to get past Darcy. The rest of the book was good enough for me to get past Darcy. The idea of the book was enough for me to get past Darcy. Darcy was truly the only downfall and I think it just slowed down a bit but it did not mean the book was unenjoyable. I just think my issue with the whole slowing down was it started off on such a high note and it kind of just you know it, it went down from there. It really did. It built up really quickly and then it left you with all these things that you're gonna find out as you read but the end result just wasn't enough, I think, for me, for the anticipation that I felt. But overall, I still give Afterworld a four stars. If you guys haven't read it, go read it. Um, I mean, unless you had, or if you stayed and you haven't read it, if you have issues like that and there may be too much for you to get through, that's totally fine. Like, you don't have to read it, but I still would recommend it. I just think it's not one of those books that I look to for, like, learning anything. I just think it was like, oh, that was really enjoyable. I did feel a little dragging at the end, but it's okay. It's gonna happen. It's better in the beginning than in the... I mean, I usually think it's better in the end than in the beginning, because in the beginning I wouldn't have gotten through this book. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this book talk, because even though it's all over the place. But um, yeah, I... Lizzie. Lizzie is the crap, and I would love to see Pyromancer as an actual book. It was so good. So anyways, I'm a book depository affiliate, so I will leave the link below. I just get like a little portion of it if you guys use it, but that'll be there and I'll leave the link for Afterworld as well. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. I felt.